Hi, Northern Lights, all you need to know. Let's go. The Northern Lights are appearing to the sky when Earth's magnetic field is interacting with the charged particles from the Sun. They are also known as Aurora Borealis. They are happening in 80 to 600 kilometers high. There can be seen four different colors, green, red, purple and blue. The green is most common. The weak northern light can look gray to human eye even though camera could see the green. There can be many shapes. Most common is the bow. Northern lights seen straight above are called the northern light corona. You have to be pretty far north to see them. Some of the best places are Finnish Lapland, North Norway and Sweden, Iceland and North Canada. The norther the better. It has to be dark time of the day and the year. The best times are September and March. You cannot see them in summer months. The further you go from light pollution the better, so avoid big cities. Moonlight will also dim in the lights. There has to be clear sky from the clouds and if you want to get better chances it is good to have a long view to the north sky. There has to be also some activity from the sun. Download a northern light app to your phone or check some internet pages. The northern light meters can be a bit confusing, but I give you a one super simple tip to them. Just look at the BC value. When the BC dives to around minus 10, then it is a good possibility to see the northern lights even as south as Helsinki. The further the BC stays in minus, the better. Usually the light comes to the sky after one hour or one and a half hour after the BC drop. The speed and density are also important, the higher the better. And if you are really interested, you can figure the meters out more specifically. In the far north, the lights can be seen even with minimalistic values. So, in the northern places, the best rule is to just monitor the sky, if the sky is clear from clouds. In the northest point of Finland, the northern lights can appear even three nights out of four. Don't wait for any alarms from the apps, be in a good spot early. There are also some northern light tours available. The predicted KP number is not a good thing to trust, it is hard to predict. A tripod for your phone or camera so the pictures don't shake. Manual camera settings, 2 second self timer on. Focus on a star or a light in the horizon. Good basic settings are F value as low as possible, ISO 1600, 6 second shutter time, white balance around 35k. RAW is the best quality. Time lapse is a nice way to capture the movement. Video is harder to shoot in the dark. Lens warmer or hand warmer under the lens to keep the moist and ice away. Put some warm clothes, take some extra batteries and a power bank to your mobile phone. Head flashlight to see in the dark, some food and drink also. Be safe, don't go on an ice if you're not absolutely sure it will hold. Be aware of any dangerous cliffs. Don't drive to a location where your car can be damaged or there is a risk to get stuck in snow. If possible, check the locations at daytime. You can edit your pictures in some photo app. There are also free apps. Here are some extreme samples of common editing tools and what they will do. Rising shadows, overall brightness, clarity, saturation to boost the colors, temperature cooler, warmer, noise reduction removes noise and grain. Be creative. Most times the best photos are not the ones with only the northern lights. And you have to be patient. If you want to really see what is it like in real life, check my channel Hunting the Northern Lights on a Budget. Remember, these informations are based to my personal experience and there are no guarantees to see the northern lights because they are nature's phenomena. Whoa, you made this far! So now you know everything you need to know about the northern lights. So, happy huntings and thank you for watching. Bye bye!